We have a very special guest with us here at the desk, uh, Archbishop uh, Wenski from uh, Miami, who is here. Um, he uh, has the unique opportunity of having been the bishop here in Orlando uh, a few years back when the Knights were here before. Right, so now I'm, I'm back as the Metropolitan of the province of Florida, but uh, it's great to be here with the Knights and to see uh, so many familiar faces as well. And we could tell who you were at Mass because you had the pallium on. That's right, because <laughs> the Archbishop uh, is the Metropolitan. He can wear the pallium in any of his suffragan sees, so I can wear it any place in Florida. Uh, so I was, uh, I was there uh, with a seat of honor next to uh, Archbishop Laurie, who of course is the Supreme Chaplain. Sure. And you have a unique, unique perspective being here uh, in Florida too, having had the uh, hosted the nights uh, before, and uh, uh, you know being here um, a as a visiting uh, uh, from right. um, Miami. Well, I'm a native of Florida. I was born in West Palm Beach, so I'm the only uh, bishop in Florida that actually was born in Florida. And uh, Florida is a unique state. It's a uh, vibrant state. We have, uh, you know, it, we're going to have probably. One extra, one more congressman than New York State, and, uh, 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 very shortly, as the census data uh, puts us at as a more populous state than New York State. Uh, but the church here in Florida is growing, like uh, 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 like the South in general, the Sun Belt, and uh, so this is a very hopeful place uh, because we're opening parishes, not closing them in Florida, uh, and. Uh, uh, and also, you know, not only do people move from the north, but they're moving up from the south. And so Florida is a state of great diversity because of the presence of immigrants uh, from all of Latin America, from Haiti, from the Caribbean. And really the diversity that we see in Florida and that we see in the church in Florida and that we see in the nights here in Florida is really a harbinger of what's going to happen uh, for the church and the, and the country in the future. So. Uh, Florida is a is the state of the future. I was going to say, as as the population grows, particularly the Catholic population, so too the Knights of Columbus, and and what a great blessing that is for you, the bishops of Florida, the pastors, yeah, and the church and itself. The Knights have been great collaborators with the bishops throughout the country, but especially here in Florida. And uh, each year they have a states convention, a state convention in, here in Orlando that gets uh, more than a thousand delegates as well. So it's uh, 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 the Knights are well alive here in South Florida, and they are supporting us in so many ways, and uh, with vocations, with promoting the uh, traditional understanding of marriage, uh, with supporting the priesthood and the priest of uh, of, uh, of our church. Uh, you mentioned the work that the Knights are doing with uh, with the uh, with the military, and uh, you know a large part of my constituency is also of Haitian origin, and the Knights have done a great job in Haiti after the earthquake there that took place almost five years ago, and the Knights are helping people that have lost limbs in Haiti to uh, acquire prosthetics, and that is a a beautiful. Uh, a beautiful uh, thing that the Knights are doing for that uh, very uh, much beleaguered nation. And you mentioned about the, the growing population uh, here in Florida too and, and immigrants. I know you're involved uh, heavily in the immigration yes. reform and, and pushing that too. And are you hopeful uh, that things will happen? Well, it's been tough. It, yeah. you know, we, I've been involved trying to get immigration reform uh, for the past 10 years and we had uh, several opportunities uh, uh, in the past and uh, uh, and they did not pan out. We thought we had a good chance uh, uh, this month, August, uh, but uh, again, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And that's unfortunate because these are not statistics. They're they're human beings and they're and they're people. You know, the problem are not the immigrants. The problem is a broken system. And uh, and unfortunately, too many people have uh, demonized the the immigrants. And it really is a kind of a, a, a revival of an unfortunate part of our own history of a country, of, as a nation when uh, in the uh, early 19th century, Catholic immigrants were subject to persecution and discrimination uh, by the know-nothings and other groups, the Ku Klux Klan, etc. cetera. And, and so, uh, you know, as Catholics, uh, we're only 
perhaps a generation removed from the immigration experience ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was born in Poland, so that should give us an empathy to these uh, immigrants that are here now. Most of them are, uh, at least if they're coming from Latin America, they are, 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 are Catholics as well, and so uh, we have to, uh, uh, you know, have some solidarity mm -hmm. and, 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 and work for a just and fair uh, immigration reform. Yeah. Bishop Noonan uh, spoke about some of these challenges, not specifically, but the kind of the doom and the gloom uh, that we live in in these days. But yet we come here to an event like this and um, to to strengthen the bonds, not just between ourselves, but with the Lord Jesus. And, right. and what a great encouragement it is for for you, as it is for me, I'm sure, to to be here in, in, in such oh, yeah. a, well, a it's Catholic. Always, it's always gathering. great when you're surrounded by witnesses yeah. and it lets you know that. Uh, you know, we're not as uh, uh, as isolated or as weak as sometimes we think we are. I think that was, you know, one of the great experiences of of, uh, of the Polish people when it, when John Paul II went to Poland in 1979, and the crowds came out, and and uh, the the Poles realized that they were not alone, and so we're not alone. We have some great uh, hurdles to face. Uh, our culture is changing very fast in this country. We see this in the march towards same-sex marriage that we will continue to uh, to oppose, but also to propose what uh, traditional marriage is and how important it is for, for the family and for, for human flourishing. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have, to, we have to have that relationship with Jesus, uh, be strong in our faith, because it's only by being strong in our faith and by maintaining ourselves close to Jesus that we can be uh, uh, forces for cultural change. We have to, uh, we can't be afraid to, uh, to face the culture. We have to be the leaven in the culture to transform it. And here in Florida, you know, there's some great weather here, and I understand that you're, you're a bike rider, and uh, you have some unique ways of uh, raising some funds, uh, too. And <laughs> tell well, once in a while <laughs> I do a, a, a poker run with, uh, you know, with other bikers, and, and again, uh, we do that in February, which is a great time to ride a motorcycle mm -hmm. in, in Florida. So, uh, and uh, it's a great way to get the cobwebs out of your head. So, <laughs> uh, and, and there is a, uh, a group, too, called Knights on Bikes, and they are yes, right. an association of Knights of, Col Knights of Columbus who around the country that also ride motorcycles, and so they have a, uh, a, a type of a, a fraternal organization within the organization to promote uh, uh, brotherhood among uh, bikes, um, by, m m knights that are bikers. <laughs> I notice you have a very uh, subtle Harley-Davidson <laughs> emblem on your shirt there, yes. and then I think of the Bishop Noonan's uh, not so subtle reference to uh, the Pope's Ford Focus. <laughs> I mean, are you people getting money for this? Uh? <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, they actu actually they gave uh, the Pope uh, a Harley Davidson uh, That's uh, last right. I year. Heard and that, yes. I think he auctioned it off for for charity. Well, uh, I have my Harley, and I hope I raise as much money uh, with my Harley <laughs> for charity, uh, uh, and I can keep it and not auction it off. So. Thank you for having me on this show. Well, we, we thank you so much, Archbishop, for uh, dropping by um, okay. our desk here and uh, continued uh, good work in uh, your push for immigration reform as That's well. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank